Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to discuss the X330E, which is the plug-in hybrid variant of the X3. So exterior-wise, it does look essentially the same as an X3, except for the charging port on driver's side front left. So the charging port opens up just like you would the normal fuel door, basically just as long as the car is unlocked. Press it, get ready to plug in. That's it. So interior wise, again, it's just like any other X3, except for some of the differences here in the instrument panel. So obviously it says E-Drive at the top here. And you got your outlines for the speedometer and what you would normally have the tachometer, but it's got battery level as well and battery power. That's all outlined in blue indicating BMW's E-Drive. So it's green efforts, if you will. So the X330E, the 2021 model year, that's when it made its debut here in the States. And since there's more, this, although it does look like iDrive 7, this is actually what they call iDrive 7 Lite, uh, based on service pack 15 for the wiring. So that's why it's got some different layouts than the 330E. Let me go ahead and turn on the vehicle as well. All right, so we are on. So range for the X330E, it's estimated full electric range is 17 miles. Now I've got it currently at 12 miles. It's slightly, slightly below 100%. And let's talk about the modes. Now, next to the gear selector, you do have differences in buttons now on the newer ones like the 330e and the 530e you have this e-drive button replaced by electric there's also a battery button to get the battery control and you also have hybrid but in this case it's just normal buttons that you can find on an x ray so sport I mean sport comfort and eco pro so let's talk about those drive modes if i go to e-drive i can go to max e-drive for the first button here and you can actually configure maxi drive to be the default basically startup system so normally bmw startup in comfort mode for the 330 or excuse me for the x330e you can have max e drive set as default so as long as you have sufficient battery charge turn on the car it's a max e drive you press that again that's how we get to the battery control it works just just like the other hybrids you can set the target value between 30 and 100 percent so this way driving along the highway you used up a significant portion of your full electric range you can charge the battery using the gas engine the gas engine will be doing two things charging the battery and driving the car all right so we go and hit the e-drive button one more so this is auto e-drive so this is one where you're going to need the navigation system on and working to a particular spot and the car is going to basically shift itself between hybrid and full electric based upon the route. It's going to choose the most efficient route to make the most use of the e-drive system. So it's very useful. I think in another video we'll demonstrate how auto e-drive works. And that's, as far as I know, right now only in the X330e. You have the adaptive or anticipatory hybrid drive setting in the, in the car settings for the other cars. We go car settings and general settings. All right, so we do have that. So that's actually in there as well. The anticipatory hybrid drive. So again, starting their mode in one of those hybrid drives. So that's going to be, in this case, Comfort or Eco Pro. And Comfort's the sort of basically the standard settings on this one here as well. So the car is going to be in hybrid mode for comfort. You can also use Eco Pro, which you can configure different settings on this as well. So Eco Pro is going to try and reduce a parasitic drain on the car's battery, which is 12 kilowatt hours. In terms of charging time, level one charging, you're looking about 10 to 12 hours or so. For level two, you're looking about three to three and a half hours of charging time to get full charge from zero. So you can reduce the power or strength of the seat heating 
and climate control, of course. And you can sort of reduce the light and sight. I don't know how effective that light and sight will be, but definitely the heating elements and climate control do reduce your full electric range. So having the Eco Pro set up that way reduces the, basically reduces the power put out by that and reduces the drag, reduces the drain on the hybrid, or excuse me, on the electric systems. That's how you do that. So that's about it for just a quick tour of how the X330e works in terms of full electric and hybrid modes. So of course, like the other hybrids that we have, if you put it in the sport or put the transmission into MS or manual sport mode, what's gonna happen is the car is gonna use the internal combustion engine. It will also help charge the battery as well. I think for the most efficient way, you wanna make sure you're using that battery control by going through the going through the e-drive uh, settings. But so please let us know if you have any questions or comments about the X330e. As soon as we are able to, we'll have a look at the X545e as well, going over its settings, and it's got the best range of any plug-in hybrid that BMW currently produces, and that's up to. 30 miles of full electric range. Touch on the 530e as well, which is another popular plug-in hybrid from BMW. And maybe we'll take a look at the 745e as well.